So in week four, I actually did a quite different project. Although I incorporated Skype, um, I didn't feel that my project before touched base enough on global citizenship enough. So I decided to change it up to natural disasters um, so that the topic could um, strengthen students' ability for um, understanding of global citizenship. So that's why I went that route. Um, it is similar in the sense of the topic in what I've done in my classrooms before. I have studied natural disasters. We've created YouTube videos of weather reports on the causes and effects, how to prepare, all that good stuff. But what was missing was um, how we can help others, what we can do for others. And that's the, really the big piece um, and reflects my learning and understanding of what it means to be a global citizen citizen and um, how to um, inspire students to think like a global citizen and think about what it is that they can do for others um, and use their learning to motivate them to think like that. Um, I really feel that this project helps students for a 21st century um, future career because we are hitting all of um, the signs of a 21st century classroom by incorporating technology, um, allowing students to be creative in how it is that they want to help others, um, getting them thinking um, inquiry-based learning um, where they decide what would best help the people in that environment after a natural, natural disaster and how they were infected. Um, they're problem solving. Um, they're using transparent assessments where they know what it is that's expected of them throughout the process. Um, and, you know, it just gets them thinking like a global citizen.